Okay, good afternoon everyone. So I'm your next presenter for our subject, Philippine Value System, and my topic is all about education and human values, intrinsic and instrumental values. My name is Russell Ann V. Morihon. There are two types of education. One is worldly education, and second is educare. The education is also referred to as education of the head. So, mo niya kinatong iswilahan. It's related to external no education, which is nothing but acquiring bookish knowledge. The modern world, we find many well versed and high, highly qualified in this aspect. No, na uban na dok na doctorate na so may nana. Second one is educare. It's also referred as education of the heart. Education will equip a person with knowledge that will enable him or her to earn a living. It can help that person to, to become great with name and fame. However, educare, which is education of the heart, will bring out the latent human values from within will transform the person into a good person with character. So, in care is to bring out no sa katong existing na mga values nato, but not yet developed sa sa katao. Education in human values is part of the process of this care. Both education of the head and education of the heart are necessary. However, Education in human values takes a holistic approach, so mas comprehensive ni siya, to educating the child. And this education in human values recognizes five values as an integral part of human being. So what is education in human values? Conned as EHV, it is a very simple yet very powerful form of values education. It's a multicultural, multi field self-development program for children and young people all over the world. It originated in India as a values education program, which is founded by Sri Satya Sai Baba in the 1970s. Its aim is to serve as a simple educational tool to develop positive values in young children and adults so that they learn how to live life and not just earn a good living. So this is a tool no, to help children and young adults so nila pagpakabuhi no niini nga kinabuhi aside from earning a good living okay and these are the goals of the HV program one to help children realize their innate goodness second to bring out inherent values of truth right action peace love and non-violence in the children and to guide them to practice these values in their daily life and third to help teachers parents and children to refocus on these five basic positive values that underlie all aspects of a moral society and fourth, to help young people to be in touch with their own feelings and nurture awareness of the qualities within themselves which form good character and behavior. And fifth, to help children to explore concepts of right and wrong through the use of storytelling, role play, songs, games, and drama. And sixth, to achieve human excellence by cultivating the values through unity of thought, word, and deed. So, mga siya no ang five values the each we recognize as an integral part of human being. These are love, truth, peace, right action, and non-violence. As you can see sa puzzle, na, so na yun sa center ang love, no? So yun siya may bali uh, factor that influences right action, non-violence, and truth, and peace. Love as thought is truth. Love as action is right action. Love as feeling is peace. Love as understanding is non-violence. And as love is our nature. Now you will tackle about these five human values. Five values in the Sri Satya Education and Human Values Program define five aspects of the human personality. The intellect, so mani ato ang uh, personalidad. The intellect, the physical, the emotional, the psyche, and the spiritual. And each of these five aspects corresponds to one basic human value. The vital or emotional aspect relates to love. While the, the intellect aspect relates to truth, the physical aspect relates to right conduct, and the psychic relates to peace. Finally, the spiritual aspect relates to non-violence or more properly, non-violation. So we can relate the five human values to the three levels of our consciousness. Conscious mind, the subconscious mind, and the superconscious mind. So first is love. So what's that is love? So it's selfless love, love nga dili conditional, uh, without attachment, without expecting in return. Then for truth, so the highest truth is absolute. Absolute meaning, uh, oh, good. 
So changeless in the past, present, and future. True at all times and in all places. Not relative or changing according to our perceptions and circumstances. So dili siya ma sway ang kini asya highest truth. Then peace. So absolute peace manifests as inner mental calm and the ability to maintain equanimity in all situations. So when we feel peaceful in ourselves, we naturally feel peaceful towards others. And next is passion. So, kanang right action daw is speaking and acting on the truth that emerges from the heart. So, nagikan jud sa heart, which is the source of our human conscience and human values. And lastly, the non-violence. This means avoids causing harm to anyone or anything so in our thoughts, words, and deeds. It allows us to appreciate diversity and to cultivate tolerance and respect for all beings and all life. So each of these five main values can be broken down into an infinite number of related sa values. So daghan pa kay ni siya. Ini ang five main values dili lang kay diha. So napa gani siya sa values. So as you can see sa poster, nga uh, dunay sa values ang truth, also love, as well as peace, right action and then also sa non violence. So, yeah, so teachers and parents play a critical role in bringing out these values in children. So, importante ka, ayun, no, ang, ang ginikanhan o ang teachers, no, sa pag-mold sa ato ang mga kabataan. Ang primary job nga character trainers ang atong parents, di ba? Magita, na, na matuto magita tungod nila. Importante na school lang, atong mga mama, atong papa, may, mag, matuto na to sa, kung sa'y maayo, kung sa'y dili, no, sa mga values. Then, Sa so, mas kailan na ta, sa so, mga ang teachers na po, they are responsible for incorporating human values in us. So, teaching the lessons as well as leading by example. Okay, and then EHV uses a combination of five teaching methodologies to draw out this innate human values. Values nga existing na but not yet developed. So, we have here the code, then next is storytelling, then meditation or silent sitting, then activity, then group singing. No? The combination of the specific five teaching methodologies is used because together they resonate with all aspects of us as human beings, the mind, the body, and the soul. Codes. Codes are effective way to spark thinking and understanding in the mind. So, can be a powerful and can stay with us for a long time. Giving us repeated opportunities to consider a concept or idea. So every time we begin working with a new value, we should introduce with a code. So, you know what you know, dunay mga codes. Pero dunay siya something na matatak yun sa to aba. Maka-reflect bitaw ta. Like for example, kadalay lamang nga code. Ano siya nga, if you think you are too small, to make a difference, try sleeping with a mosquito. Diba? So, ngayon mo naon naon, kung tanaw na yung mga gamitin, kayo ka, so you can't make a difference, hindi ko na. Try ko nung ukatog na dun na yung mosquito. So, kung sa may ibang pasabot, anya. So, kung gigamyan di ka sa inyong kaugaling, na wala kay confidence, wala kay salik, na you cannot make a difference. So, pitanaw ako noon, na naang makatog, baka o naidag hang mosquito. Diba? So, ang gimindiri is, ang mosquito mas small, so, kung maka, maka make a difference din siya, even nga gamay ko siya. Kung mga nag-iingan ang small but terrible. Kung mga dahil may analyze no, nang doon na ba siya yung mga mataling haga, nga meaning ba? So, mo na nga, retain sa to ang code. So, what, that's one way or method, one method no, to steal in us no, lessons in life. To instill in us values. Asking gani ang small but terrible, okay, code naman po na siya. Diba? Mga short quotes ba? Okay, the next is storytelling. So, another method, no, ha, to instill, no, uh, values sa mga bata or nato sa human being is storytelling. So, through stories, we'll learn from other people's experiences, giving us opportunities to reflect on our own. Mm, storytelling. So, naidaghan na na, mga fables. So, man, nakatong sa sa graders pa ta, no, story, story, ano yun ta, mga story, doon na yung mga lessons, no, nga ma makuha na to. Third is, meditation or silent sitting. So, silent sitting gives us the opportunity to calm our body and our mind and simply be. So, third methodology is, ang um, mag-meditate, no, ay calm na to, ato ang, ato ang body and mind and simply be. Muraga yoga ba? Or, 
talk as in himself. Do not need to do anything other than to sit still and silently in order to observe and connect with the peace that is our essence. So, so tala yung buhaton, mulingkod lang ta, silently and observe, connect you know, with the peace na naa sa atong solod. So in sitting quietly, we can transcend the senses and observe the source of our true selves, the source of our inherent human values of truth and love. Then fourth is activity. Practical activities that engage the body and the mind are a great way to focus on and draw out children's human values. So activity, our values are present and evident in all that we do. So it is very easy to integrate a focus on a value in any activity or game with children, thus reinforcing the value and giving children a practical association. So maghatag dahil activity ang mga teachers, ah, like a retreat. Doon na dahil mga activity nga hinuon para imuha dyan masuta ba? Kung sa dyan, imuha ang ma-apply ang katong value like teamwork, horsemanship, honesty, hindi sila mo-cheat. So, mga yun, Anna. Lastly, we have the group singing. So, singing songs together that highlight our shared innate human values further reinforce our understanding of our connectedness which is with each other both through the singing and through the focus on the values themselves. So, through group singing, ma connect us sa usak usak And also, it will further reinforce our understanding of our connectedness with each other. Okay, so we'll proceed to the intrinsic and instrumental value. But there are two types of values. Uh, one is intrinsic and the other is instrumental. Intrinsic value, it's a value as an end in itself or valued for its own sake. Example, according to Plato, love, friendship, freedom, justice, etc. Kaya nabi itong uh, gibalyo na to sa iyong pagkasiya. No? Human beings, pleasure, happiness, o gibalyo man na to na no? for its own sake. Whereas instrumental value is valued as a means to an end or valued for the sake of something else. Like, yun na to siya, pari, do na tay, ma gain out of that. Like, for example, money. No, yung pay kay tanong, na tay money, yung value na to money, why? Kaya mapalit na to ang atong gusto. Money can buy happiness. But money is the instrument that makes you happy. So, money siyang money is one example of instrumental value. Your job. Diba? Instrumental siya, i-value na to. Eh, of course, kung doon natin job, doon natin income, doon natin money, i-buy itong gusto. Or anything used as tools to achieve goals. But take note, it is quite difficult to estimate completely the intrinsic value as it is only dependent upon individual judgment. Extrinsic and intrinsic are used relatively. They are not always mutually exclusive or fixed. What is valued by one person for its own sake may be valued by another person as a means to an end. So it may have an intrinsic value for one person, but instrumental for another. Example bito ang beauty. So kung guapa na kadaan, nature na na mo nga guapa ka, desirable ka, so intrinsic na sa inyo ha. But for others, it's instrumental. Like sa kanang mga artista, na mga endorser, so need kay na nila. Na ilaha man ang puhunan ang beauty. Then another, um, truth. So, yes, truth is intrinsic in value, okay? Mam, gina siya desirable, but for those people, uh, whether you're a victim or a suspect pa lang, no, ang uh, importante kay sa mo ang truth na mo come out, okay? Kung victim ka, so matagaan ka justice, and if, uh, innocent ka nga suspect, so, ma-absolto ka. Uh, intrinsic na siya sa uban, but for others, you know, within your situation or circumstances, it's also instrumental. With education, it has both intrinsic and instrumental. So, intrinsic in a way nga, uh, desirable it siya nga, educated ka. And, at the same time, instrumental siya because kung doon na kayo may nga education, so, dali alam, makakapagag trabaho. Diba? Na mawitaw ni purpose na to, karon sa atong pag-skwela nga, nag-master lang ta, ba, nag-doctorate. Okay, para mana nga, uh, para sa ilang professional growth nga sa girapa ato ning bala nga doon na tay edge magpalangkin naman ganit ta or ma-apply ta og higher positions mo na siya last example tong pagpaningo og diskwela tap ka mapil ka sa honor roll high in grades 
So, sa uban, is wala lang. Nat- natural lagi sila, may intelligent sila. So, sila yung mag-tap. But for others, like, for example na ako, based on my own experience, nga, maning mga yung tao nga, nga appeal sa honor roll, maning mga mga taas o grado, para maka-gain of scholarship. So, muna siya ang uh, intrinsic o ang uh, instrumental value. Okay, so before I end my report, so I will leave you this quote, that education without values, as useful as it is, seems rather to make man a more clever devil. So, importante ang education of the head, ang importante sa ang educare, so education of the heart. Kung sa man education without values, may bawalay pulos, kay tao tanga puno sa kaalam, pero walay batasan. That ends my report and thank you for listening. I hope you learned something from it. So God bless us. Thank you.